Did you hear that? An overlord! That sounds so intense! It's just more nonsense conjured up by that heretic. I hope he gets his comeuppance. Well, who knows? Monsters are taking over the world and Isti's totally in captivity. Oh yeah, what if that Isti person's playing us all like kazoos? She creates the monsters, lures out naive little girl wannabe heroes like you, then snap! Lures another one, then snap! That simply is not true. I would do no such thing. Please, Neptune, explain on my behalf. Isti, you're here! I didn't think I'd hear from you until I saved you. Are you relaxing? You're all tied down, right? I am neither relaxing nor tied down. Please, explain to them that I am Histoire, the noble tome... All that aside, what's new? I am reaching out to you to convey important plot-driving information. I cannot be certain how much longer I can continue communication like this. She will come to you any day now. Who? Oh, is this the she who sealed you away? Yes, but I was unable to muster the courage to utter her name. I still cannot treat her like a villain. But she is a villain, right? Or are you trying to say you're the villain? No, no! Fine. I can hesitate no longer. Neptune, please be wary of R4. She has become aware of your existence. R4? She's the one who locked you up? And she's coming to fight us, huh? Please be careful. She is... R4 is... What about her? Did we get disconnected? She should switch telepathy carriers. I couldn't hear Isti's voice, but I think I understand what's happening from Nep Nep's side. Maybe R4 intercepted the communication and cut her off. What if this R4 is the same as that Overlord Momus? They'd both be connected to creating the monsters. 